all the power that God had used, they feared the Lord and they feared and believed in Moses. They got it. Somebody broke out in song. Miriam was doing a little singing. Moses was doing some dancing. They were all having a great time in chapter 15. And by the end of chapter 15, somebody looked at the canteens and realized that it was springtime. It was only going to get hotter and they didn't have any water. And so when you get down to 15, 23 to 26, God takes them to a place called Mara, where you can take one teaspoon of the water that is calcium and magnesium, and you put one teaspoon of that in your mouth and you swallow it. It won't kill you, but it'll give you the worst case of the runs you've ever had in your life. And they all go, what are we going to do? And God gives them a branch and says, throw it in there and it'll be okay. And then he says, listen, guys. I brought you here to drink the water. Next time I tell you to do it. But I don't want to have an upset stomach. Yeah, but you see, I'm not just trying to get you out of Egypt. I'm trying to get Egypt out of you. And if you'll do what I say, you'll have none of the diseases of the Egyptians. You've got parasites. You're carrying a whole colony of Egyptians in there with you, and I'm trying to get rid of them. So would you just do what I tell you to do? By the way, go right around that corner, and then there was 12 springs of water, wells of water at Elim. It's not that there wasn't water, it's that he took them by way of this because he wanted to give them diarrhea. Why? Because you serve a God who gives you what you need, not what you ask for.